Hey guys, it's Shelby. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video. Uh, in this video, we have to talk about Trisha Paytas, you guys, because Trisha Paytas has officially, publicly, in video format, apologized to Ethan Klein. So that's super exciting because maybe we can get a you know a reboot of Frenemies. That's I think that what we all want, right? <laughs> um, anyway, so if you're interested in hearing about all of that drama then make sure that you keep on watching. You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says... Oh my god, you guys. Okay, so before we get into today's video, I want to just say thank you so much to everybody. Um, I have been creating more content lately. I've just been super motivated by Rich. Hanging out with Rich is like, I mean, it, it's just extremely motivating for me. Just when I see him, it's like grind, grind, grind. I mean, this man really never stops working. And I see that and I see how he's just able to crank out these videos, girl. And it literally is so motivating to me and it and it's inspired me to kind of at least attempt to do a little bit of the same so i've been just pumping out videos for you guys these past couple weeks and you guys have been so receptive to them and i can't tell you how much that means to me it truly truly just fills my heart with so much joy when i see you guys comment on my videos and say hello and I like know your names or at least your online persona names and we talk we see how each other's days are and all of that and it really truly does mean the absolute world to me so I just wanted to take a minute to say thank you so much to each and every one of you all of my new subscribers my sub returning subscribers and all of my notification squad who's always there to comment on my videos when they go live you guys mean the absolute world to me and you're making my dreams come true so um thank you but anyway so let's get into the drama guys i'm getting a little emotional over here like calm down girl. trisha paytas uploaded a series of videos yesterday and uh two of them were quite interesting so the first one actually all three of them were pretty interesting so one of them was kind of and i'll be honest guys with Trisha and with Gabby right now, I it's hard for me to sit through their videos in, in their entirety because like they're long <laughs> and they uh, are really long winded and just kind of like all over the place sometimes. And it's, sometimes it's hard for me to focus for that long of a time. Uh, when you had somebody like Mr. Prada's video that he uploaded yesterday, that was very engaging the entire time and was very organized and, and, and it was just a lot easier for me to stay focused for that entire thing. But with Gabby and Trisha and they get distracted while they're talking and it's more in a relaxed kind of a, a, a filming style and it's really hard for me to stay focused for an entire 40 minute video um, that they'll upload about certain things. I just I, it's really it's just challenging for me and that has nothing against either one of them. Uh, it's just uh, it's just my ability to stay focused for that long of a period of time. I just really honestly can't um, unless the video is super engaging and organized and all of that. So she uploaded three videos yesterday and I didn't watch them in their entirety, but I watched some of all three of them. And the first one was kind of like addressing the Gabby, uh, the Gabby thing and the videos that Gabby made about her. The second one was called Enemies and it was supposed to be like a version of Trisha's version of Frenemies and it was like episode number one and she talked about Jeff Wittick and Gabby Hanna and Ethan Klein and she talked about all three of them and how they were enemies and she kind of just made like a joke on how she loved to get glam on Mondays and how like she just she was kind of like stuck in that routine of getting glam on Mondays and just because she was in such the habit of gossiping and like being like the drama queen on Mondays with Ethan um, that it was just still kind of part of her routine. So it was her like kind of little fun joking way of bringing that back. So she did that and she kind of, I mean, we're not going to go into detail in this video about how she talked, called out Jeff Wittick and all of that. Apparently her and Jeff Wittick are in the midst of another little online beef. So if you want to hear about that, then let me know in the comments down below and I'll do some more research into it. 
and give you guys my opinions on it, but I'm not entirely sure exactly what's going on with that whole thing. But I know that her and Jeff Winnick are back and forth again um, on the Twitters and, and all of that. But then the third video is kind of what I really wanted to talk to you guys about. The third video uh, was her apologizing to Ethan. And there are some there's opinions both ways on this. Here's my opinion on it. She made this video apologizing to Ethan. The apology, in my opinion, sounded sincere. It sounded genuine. And it sounded like Trisha really was kind of coming to the realization of what a ruined relationship with Ethan is, right? Um, and and that is that that is her family now, you know, that is her going to be her brother-in-law. And she needs to have a... Well, she doesn't need to, but it would be much easier if she had a better relationship with him. And so I think that what they did was they did a lot of self-reflecting and, you know, realizing that, hey, I was wrong in certain situations and this is my family now and I don't want to have bad blood with my family. And, you know, we had a good time together. And I think that she realizes that she really needs Ethan in her life um, and that Ethan was a good role model. She made some interesting points saying that um, Ethan and her were kind of the same. Obviously, Trisha has been way more problematic than Ethan has in the past, but Ethan's history is not completely squeaky clean either. He's definitely said some things that are, um, you know, questionable in the past, and he definitely has a sense of humor that can be considered offensive to a lot of people. And, you know, Ethan is not perfect either. So she made a point that they, that it was kind of like the perfect duo there because Ethan was kind of like the reformed troubled person and Trisha was trying to become the reformed trouble per troubled person. I, my personal opinion was I thought the apology was sincere. I thought it was a great um, mature step forward for Trisha. And I thought that, you know, while she has, taken a lot of steps back the past few weeks with everything that's been happening. I thought that this video was another way of her just taking one step back in the right direction. So that's just my opinion on it. There are some opinions that people are just saying, oh no, she's just coming out with this video because Gabby made a video about her and she's trying to make herself seem bigger than Gabby at this point. And you know, I, I don't know, that could be true. There's opinions both sides on it. Trisha lost a lot of respect from a lot of people when this whole frenemies thing happened. So I think she's just going to have to work even harder to gain that trust back. People were very disappointed in her because I think that a lot of people were very proud of how she had been acting and the changes that she'd been making this year and up until this point. So we'll see what happens with that. But the important thing is I want to know what you guys' opinion um, is on all of this stuff with Trisha down in the comments below. Are you down with Trisha's apology to Ethan? I mean, it's not our place to forgive Trisha. It wasn't our, you know, beef with her or whatever. It's definitely Ethan's place to forgive her. But what do you think of the video that Trisha made? Did you watch all three of them? If you were able to sit through all three of those videos, um, leave me a thumbs up emoji in the comment section down below. And if you weren't able to sit through all those videos and you just come to me to hear the drama, <laughs> then leave me a little teapot emoji in the comments down below. But yeah, that's all I have for you today, guys. Oh, before I go, I'm so sorry. I did want to ask you guys a little question. So I received a comment and the comment was asking what I should call my followers or like my subscribers. And I was thinking, I have no idea. So I'm going to like put that in your hands. So leave me a comment down below what you think that we should call you guys, all of you subscribers, what should we call you? Um, leave me a comment down below and let me know your thoughts on that. And if one really kind of sticks out to me, then maybe we'll, that will be what we name our little following that we're growing here. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified of all of my future videos when they do post. And you can follow me on all of my social media at Beauty by Shelby. That's S H E L B Y E. Beauty by Shelby. And I'll leave that right up there on the screen for you so you can see it. If you're enjoying the Beauty by Shelby vibes and want to see more, then YouTube should be suggesting a couple videos down below for you to choose from. So I'd love it if you did that. But if you're just here to catch up on the Trisha Paytas drama, then that's totally cool too, girl. I completely understand. Love you so. Thank you so much for your review anyway. Thank you so much for watching today's video, you guys. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys have to be your biggest fan and 
when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says...